Hello, me again. Thanks for joining me once again. It's been a little while. I've been busy squirreling away with a lot of my new customers in PowerFab, getting them set up and implemented successfully. Um, and I look forward to more of that. And that's really the genesis for this video. Um, part of that implementation is obviously getting information out of tech structures. And I'm gonna do a couple of videos, this one and a, and, a, and a following one that will run you through the process of getting information out for estimating and for production. So let's have a look at the estimating first. Um, just to mention quickly as well that this is pretty much the only interface that you'll need for Tecla structures to make information ready for PowerFab. It's very straightforward. Okay, so for estimating, you need to have a model, well, and production, <laughs> you need to have a model. Um, but for, for estimating, we need an IC file. Okay, so the way you do that, go up to your file, go to your export, you go to IFC. Okay, now the reason for the video, because that's pretty, pretty straightforward, most technical structures users know how to do that. The reason for the video is because I want you to be quite specific about some of the settings. Right? So when you install the UK environment, and obviously this is all UK environment based, uh, when you've got that, you've got this Esther modeling option here. So when you drop this down, Esther modeling. All right? And if you load that, you will get the majority of the settings. Okay, and the key one here is this fabrication view because that's the highest level uh, of, of definition that you can get, all right? So you've got coordination view two below that, then coordination view one, and then the worst is surface geometry. Don't go anywhere near that. You wanna be picking steel fabrication view. The next is the um, property sets. Now, the EPM UK property set does not come with the base insulation. So if you want that, I can send it to you. Um, and you need to pop that into your firm folder or the model folder, um, whichever suits you. But really all that does, if I hit this edit button just to show you, um, is it configures a number of non-standard attributes and maps those across into your into your um, IFC export, okay, to make that in information available to your um, to your estimate inside your PowerFab interface. All right, so that's the reason for that. So again, if you haven't got that and you won't have it, I can, I can talk you through how to get that in there. The only other option here is whether you want to export just the, just objects by selection or the entire job. All right, so just do selected options. All, all you've got to do then is select the pieces that you want to export, hit export. That'll do your IFC and you're done. All right. So look out for the next next video um, where I'll be covering the production export and I'll see you there. Bye bye.